Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, um, we will be talking about Swiss model and learn how we can use this facility to construct protein models and subsequently evaluate the produced model. Um, Swiss model is a state-of-the-art platform for homology modeling uh, that is a computational technique widely employed in structural biology. Um, to predict the three-dimensional structures of proteins based on its amino acid uh, sequence. We had to rely on modeled proteins due to the fact that uh, the crystallographic structures have been ex experimentally uh, determined only to a fraction of proteins available in the biological systems. In this context, this model comes with a very handy tools that can be used to construct protein models and evaluates its structures by employing complicated algorithms in a user-friendly manner. A protein model can be easily constructed by any person without the requirement of prior knowledge on programming whatsoever. For this tutorial, uh, I will use a protein sequence uh, that is um, that I will uh, represent as TVLDH, which is lactase lactate dehydrogenase enzyme found in Trichomonas vaginalis. This protein is 335 amino acids long. Let's start our work. If you search this uh, model in the search engine, you will be directed to this page and click on this model link. Now in the opening web page you can see uh, the button for starting model. In the lower section you can see new incorporations into the Swiss model such as incorporation of alpha fold database into the search results, advanced structural assessment services and model annotation facilities all are very useful when constructing a protein model. Now we can click on the start modeling button and see uh, that what we are going to get here. In this window, we have two options. One is search for templates and other one is the built model. If you choose the second option that is built model, the entire process is automated. What you have to do is submit the sequence and wait until the Swiss model produces several models for your query protein. However, I personally prefer search for template option as it allows me to choose relevant templates proposed by Swiss model by accessing several structural databases. To insert the input file, here we can choose upload option or just paste the sequence into the window. Click on the search for template button uh, and wait until the software processes several templates that matches with our query protein sequence. This process will take some time and what is going on can be seen in the window.
After the analysis is done, several templates are listed and we have the freedom to choose based on uh, sequence coverage, global model quality estimate that is called GMQE and quaternary structure quality assessment that is called QSQE etc. A few other additional information are also presented such as method, oligostate and information about the ligand attachments. Now we can select models by checking on the checkbox and here in terminus to see terminus color coded protein structures of the templates will be displayed. An overview of proposed templates can be visualized by clicking on the quaternary structure, sequence similarity, and alignment tabs. Here let me choose first and third protein templates for the easiness of further presentation and let's proceed. Click on build models. Now we have to patiently wait until several models are generated by this model. Two models have been constructed and the color is an indication of the confidence of the model. Blue color indicates a better confidence. To assess the quality of the predicted model, we can make use of the scores given with each structure. We can check oligostate, GMQE, that is that stands for Global Quality Estimate, Qualitative Mean Energy Analysis Values, etc. This is course above 0.7 means that the model is fairly built for subsequent analysis. The local quality estimate all chains provide the residue-wise local similarity uh, to the targets of all chains. Here we can observe which residue has the higher score and which consists the lower score values. Another important plot is the C-score plot. Here our model falls into the darker region of the plot. That means uh, the model is highly reliable than if it falls into the grey color zone. Now if you click on the structure assessment, we can visualize the Ramachandran plot. Ramachandran plot demonstrate the die. Now if we click on the structure assessment button, we can visualize Ramachandran plot. Ramachandran plot de demonstrates the dihedral angles of each amino acid. 
For this model, none of the amino acids fall into non-permissive regions. This means structure's accuracy is high and no amino acid falls into Ramachandran outliers. Since the graph is interactive itself, it is easy to identify the residues in the three-dimensional space. A more probability result provides further details such as the C-meter deviations, bad angles, and if you want to further refine our model, we can use other methods such as energy minimization and use protein refinement algorithms which is out of the scope of this tutorial. The sequence alignment graph provides the alignment details of the model against its template and color coordinates and the color indicates the confidence of the developed structure by displaying the Q-mean scores. Here DSSP stands for the defined secondary structures of proteins. Here C stands for the coil, E stands for the beta strands, T stands for turns and S for bends. Now let's go back to our model and we can now download our model in several formats. Most preferably, we use PDB format. If we check the top right menu, we can see several other options for model building. For example, if you have a preferred template, we can provide the template or the alignment uh, as, a, as an alignment file to construct the model without spending time on template search. In the tool section, we have the ability to compare each of the templates in a three-dimensional space. We can do a detailed visualization of similarities and differences in each region uh, that might be considered during the model building. You also can click on the setting button and choose a color scheme based on our preference. Now we have constructed our model for the protein TVLDH, how we can do model refinement in another tutorial. Thank you for watching.